Hey everyone, it's Heidi. Welcome back to My Reading Life. I am doing a car talk today because it is very difficult for me lately to find time to film. And so I am on my lunch break and um, I have no private place in my office. So I figured I would find a nice quiet spot in my car and uh, film here. And hopefully you can't actually hear my car running because it's very cold outside and I don't want to shut the car off because I will get cold. So let's just make this a quick one and hopefully the sound quality will be good. So there's just a few things I wanted to chat with you about today. This is just going to be a chatty video where I have two or three topics I just wanted to uh, just to bring up and I've been thinking about them and none of them seem like um, something that I wanted to make like a full video about so I thought well why not just have a chatty video and just tell you what I'm thinking about and uh, yeah leave it at that so the first thing I wanted to talk about was some of you may remember that in 2019 I had had a TBR reduction goal of um, you know bringing my TBR my physical TBR down uh, by about 50 books and so I had set up this lovely little tracker in my bullet journal um, thank you to Doris for her inspiration and I also had on this page here I had one of those little bar graphs to track my fiction and nonfiction reading um, which I really enjoy doing and so I plan to do that again in 2020 but the TBR balance sheet was how I kept track on a month-by-month -month basis Let's see if I can do this and um, so the first column was the number of books that I read off my physical TBR. The second column was the number of physical books, books I brought into my house. Um, the third column was books that I unhauled. Uh, and then I got, that gave me a monthly number up or down. And then I kept a balance in the last column. Um, I had started the at the end of 2018 I had 147 books on my physical TBR and my goal was to get that under 100 books by the end of the year so I needed to average a minus four every month I bet you can guess how this went <laughs> it didn't go very well I ended up the year at 142 books so I only went down by five books so I didn't reach my goal of getting it under 100, but I feel like that was a win because I actually did bring it down by five. I didn't go up at all. So I feel like that was a win even though it didn't. I didn't reach my goal. So in 2020, I want to continue that TBR reduction. Um, so I start the year with 142 books and my goal is to be under 100 by the end of 2020. So I've got my pages set up. Um, this is my graph where I'm tracking my fiction and nonfiction reads. You can see I've already read 14 books this month, which is really, really good for January for me. Um, and so the average I need to reduce per month off my physical TBR is four. And I will just tell you that it's not going well. <laughs> There's been some, some things happened in the month of January so that I have already brought in many books um, in the month of January that I did not plan to purchase but you know things happened and they came in and I'm not sad about it so hopefully I can get back on track next month and there is a um, uh, uh, a book haul video coming I just haven't had a chance to film it yet so that's where we are with TBR reduction my big thing with TBR reduction is not that I ever want to get to zero TBR. It's just that I don't want it to become unmanageable where I'm constantly bringing in way more books every year than I'm reading. And also by focusing on TBR reduction, I focus on reading my own books because I can get very distracted by reading books from the library, reading books on Scribd, all that kind of stuff. Um, and not actually reading the physical books that I was excited about when I brought them into the house. Um, so that's really my goals with the TBR reduction. And then, so for overall goals for 2020, I've been thinking about this quite a bit um, because I think last year I actually filmed a whole video about my reading goals for the year. And I just don't really feel like doing that this year. I don't feel like setting a bunch of hard and fast goals. Um, I have some things that I like to do that are pretty similar to what I did last year. I like to do themed reading um, in some months so like this month in January I'm doing South African reads with Doris next month is Black History Month 
March's um, March Mystery Madness and also Middle Grade um, and then I think April is Australian books and so on and so forth. So it seems like every month is like themed reading. Of course, there's nonfiction November and Victober, both of which I always participate in. So I feel like that's, you know, just, I like that. I'm not setting any hard and fast goal about numbers in any of those themes. I just want to participate. Um, I don't have, I do set a Goodreads number, but I don't, I only set it because I like the little tracker thing. I don't really care about the number that I read in a year. So I set my Goodreads goal for 125 again this year, which was what it was last year. Um, I actually read 140 or 141 books overall for the year. So I mean, the number itself doesn't really matter. I just like the little tracker thing. Um, and as far as other goals, I mean, the BookTube Prize, I'm judging that, both fiction and nonfiction. So that's like the big project that I'm working on this year. Um, I also will be, you know, I'm paying attention to the Reading Women Challenge and the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge just to see if what I read fits into those categories, not with any big goal in mind. Um, so that's where I'm at with goals this year. I'm feeling very um, non-goal oriented, I guess, is, is where I'm at with that. And I'm okay with that. I don't feel like I need to set any hard and fast rules or any hard and fast goals this year. And uh, yeah, that's just where I'm at. And then the other thing I did want to just talk about briefly is the booktube prize long list came out last weekend and I was super excited about it I will link down below um, the video where Robert announces the 48 books in the fiction list and the 48 books on the nonfiction list for you to go check out if you haven't already seen it and I'll also link um, the booktube prize webpage so you can print out the list if you want to follow along there's some hashtags and all that kind of business um, I am judging the nonfiction round for the first uh, go, the first round, and then I'll be doing uh, alternating fiction, nonfiction. I think for the rest of the um, for the rest rest of the prize judging, and I am super excited about how diverse both lists are. Um, so if you are a judge for the book two prize, you get to put you need you get to vote for twenty books to be put on the long list out of a great long list that we were sent. Um, and I am happy to report that 17 of the books that I picked for each of those lists made it on to the final 48. So I feel very happy that the books that I was most excited about have made it onto the long list. Um, and I am very excited about the fact that there's, you know, there's just such a wide diversity of types of books on both lists that I feel like we're getting a little bit of everything, which I think is really the goal of the prize and really reflects well on the types of reading and books that happens on booktube. I mean it's just all over the place and just every every kind of book um, is in there and I'm just so excited about it. I'm so so excited about the nonfiction book list. I can't even tell you there's so many great books on there. I am I will I'm not gonna tell you what group I'm judging this first round but I will tell you that every single one of the books I wanted to read um, they didn't happen to be, all be books that I voted for, but every book on there um, is a book that I'm excited to read. And that that's just incredible. Um, I think that just, I don't know where else you get that <laughs> in any other kind of book prize list. I've never been, I've never seen a book prize list, I don't think, before that I'm like, oh yeah, I want to read every one of these books. So that's that, that bodes well for my reading this year. Um, I don't know that I will actually get through all 48 of the books on the long, the nonfiction long list, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a lot of them, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a lot of them. So that's where we're at with my reading um, this year so far in 2020. I, I'm very excited. Like I said, I've already read 14 books this month, which is like a really high number for a monthly total for me. I, I just have been just really excited about reading this month and it's really um given me so much pleasure this month and not that reading doesn't always give me pleasure because it, it pretty much always does but I just feel like I'm in this uh I'm in a very 
a mode where I'm just clicking along and everything's going my way. So hopefully that will continue. Um, I'm, I know that it always happens that you, you get into some slumps, but hopefully um, this, this patch of excellent reading is going to continue for a while for me. Um, like I said, I will be back soon with, um, I have a vlog planned um, that hopefully will be coming out uh, the beginning of next week. I, I need to do a book haul video and then I'll need to do a January wrap up because I haven't talked about all the books that I've read um, so far this month. So that's where we're at with my reading. Uh, I hope you're all doing well and finding lots of great books to read and I will talk to you later.